appreciate the, the ethos of slam dance and the indie spirit of slam dance and I loved everything about it. These are their first features that don't have distribution, they don't usually have star names in them, and we give them the showcase. I'm an Arclight member, so I'm here all the time. I was like thrilled that it was showing here tonight. It brings me to tears when a filmmaker tells me that they grew up in LA and saw movies here, and to have their movie playing is their ultimate dream. It's, it's a place for movie lovers. Let's just rewind for a second. For anybody that doesn't know, what is Slam Dance? Tell me about it. Well, Slam Dance is primarily a film festival which supports emerging filmmakers, and we started in 1995 when we were all rejected from Sundance. Uh, what, tell them the name of your film. My film was Loser. <laughs> I mean, in the first year we had 48 submissions, and now last year we're over at 7,500 submissions. Really? That's got to feel good. Yeah, it feels great. So that's what our film festival in Park City is all about. And what's amazing about being here at the Arclight is that now we can bring these films out to a bigger audience. The Slam Dance partnership really came about because I wanted something that Arclight guests weren't going to see anywhere else. Peter wanted more exposure for his filmmakers to that wide audience. I mean, we were we were in it together five minutes into the conversation because we both wanted the same thing. It's great to see so many people that come out with film tonight. And the Archive provides that opportunity then for these audiences who love independent film to see them here. And of course, you see them on this great big screen, great sound, great picture, and it's awesome. We thought a monthly series was the, the, the right thing because you have to have continuity. We want people to know that they can look each month on the website, they can continue to see these interesting films. We've been very careful in making sure that it's a narrative, it's a comedy, it's a drama, it's a documentary, and so that there's, there, there's something for everyone. The arc, like, they, they do appreciate it's not always about the big star and the big budget movie. They understand that their audiences want to see films which have been crafted in different ways, in personal ways. And how do we continue that festival vibe, that festival outside of Park City? The filmmakers are vested. We have Q&As, we have a panel discussion. This is Ariel's first feature film, by the way. We have Debbie Elias moderating. That is begins. You know, fingers crossed as the filmmakers find success out of out of showing things here. Thank you, Slam Dance, thank you, Arclight. Our movie-going audience has embraced it, and honestly, I think it's something they expect from us. Something unique, something special, but the underlying is it's a great story. Mm -hmm.